Oh, oh, my God. God. Oh. Oh, no. So um, I would, and after this, Marie is going to be reading from her, reading from her book. So um, Don, this is Don Galetta. <laughs> Hi everybody. Uh, I'm Hi. Really <laughs> We've got some clowns in the audience. Um, I'm her third child. My sister Sharon is right there, and then my brother Tom, and my other sister is on her way, so she'll be here soon. But I wanted to introduce them too. But um, when Myron asked me to speak today, I wasn't sure what I was going to say. I'm not big into public speaking. Um, then I thought, speak from my heart, because that's what makes my mom such a beautiful writer, because she speaks from her heart. So here goes. I'm going to try not to cry. Okay. I think I can speak for, my, for all of my siblings when I say that growing up with a hearing impaired mother had its advantages. <laughs> <laughs> What teenager would want to be able to talk late on the phone, <laughs> sneak in after curfew, and mumble fresh words under her breath so her mom would hear her? <laughs> um, we could have full conversations at dinner, laughing, telling jokes, and meanwhile mom would sit there and not know what was going on. She'd see us laughing, and once in a while she'd say, huh? But we usually just laugh and continue talking. Sorry. I didn't realize how hard this must have been on you until I got older. As a mother myself, I couldn't imagine raising my kids with a hearing impairment and not being part of their conversations. I know deciding to have the cochlear implant was a hard decision for you and Myron. It was risky, it was scary, and you could lose all of your hearing, but you decided to do it anyway because the advantages far outweighed the risks. My mom wanted to be able to hear the grandkids on the phone she wanted to be able to have conversations at the dinner table. She wanted to be able to hear the birds sing, and now she can. I was with my mom when she woke up from her cochlear implant surgery. I'll never forget walking into the hospital's recovery room and seeing her laying there with a big white gauze wrapped around her head. All I could think was, please God, let my mom hear. Please let the surgery be a success. And here we are today. Now when we gather for dinner, my mom is part of the conversation. Sometimes we forget she can hear us, and then out of nowhere, <laughs> <laughs> and then out of nowhere, she'll say, "I can hear you, you know." <laughs> ah, yes, you can, mom, and that's amazing. Mom, you are an inspiration to us all. You are a fighter. You've never quit with all the adversity you faced in your life. You never gave up. Thank you. Congratulations on your second book. I know I can speak for our entire family when we say we are so proud of you and we love you very much. Keep speaking from your heart. We look forward to reading To Hear the Birds Sing and the next one too. Yeah. Um, this is my other child, Joy, the fourth daughter of Rhode Island State Trooper, Joy Young. Yeah. <laughs> State Trooper. You should show her when you win. <laughs> Tom is over here, and a bunch of red But what I would like to do is introduce Kayla, who was there at that magical moment when, every, when all of a sudden light began once again from a ring. Kayla Galetta. 
Go Kayla! <laughs> For those of you who haven't met me before, my name is Kayla, and at 15 years old, I am a daughter, sister, a niece, cousin, and especially tonight, a very proud grandmother, granddaughter. <laughs> relationship. I always knew that she wore hearing aids and that I needed to articulate my words more clearly when I was speaking to her. But when I was 13 years old, I expected all of that to change right when she had the surgery for the implant. Then I found out that her hearing wouldn't be like mine until they, quote unquote, flick the switch. When that day came to do just that, my mom and I went with grandma to the doctors where grandma's hearing was to be turned back on. The anxiety was building up in all of us, but there was also excitement. The audiologist warned for the big change to occur, and then the switch was flipped. And I watched the expression on my grandmother's face cringe. This scared me so much, but then she relaxed, and I thought to myself, she can hear, she's fine now. But I was very naive, and this important day was only the beginning of a lifelong journey for my grandma, of doctor's visits and hearing something new every single day. I'll also never forget the time when she told me how she heard the birds sing. She, uh, she smiled so brightly and her eyes were so clear and this clearly demonstrated that she appreciated this gift that she was given and this gift that seems so common to all of us. Um, I have been so blessed to be a part of my grandmother's journey. Both of her books dem demonstrate how talented this woman is as a writer and also how special she is. Grandma, I'm so happy for you and I love you very much. Thank you so much.